Okay, so I think that this is a collaboration that no one thought would happen because, <laughs> to be fair, and I'll own up to it. What 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 did I've you say about? I talked a lot me? of shit about you in the past. What did you? Hello everyone, it's Paige and welcome back to my channel today. So, Bryson, you are going to be my caddy today for three holes and I'm really excited about this. Are you excited? No. <laughs> but my goal here today is to get you to at least under par. We've got to get three you to holes par. Under three par? holes under par. Okay. Exactly. That's not going to be too big of a problem. I know this course really well. I've played here three or four years uh, when the Hero World Challenge is here. It's one of my home courses. and. Um, I can get you a little sneaky angles off the tee. See, but the problem is that I have to then execute said shots, and I'm a little bit worried about I, I, that. After seeing what I saw in the driving range, you got no problem. Okay. Go okay, Go we'll see. This is hole one. It's a little bit of a slight dog leg right, par four. Well, you're from the orange. It's, you want the, it's 388. It's 388. See, bad caddy already. Uh, Hold on. No, my name is BAD, bad caddy. I. That's not, this is not a good start. I have to tell you the yardage of the hole. I've never played in the oranges. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah okay. And I didn't get time to go check it out. Okay, continue so. the rest but of the hole. 388, par four, little dog leg right. And everybody, it's a treacherous green, so I've got to make sure she's in the right section of the green. So we'll be doing that today. Bunkers down the left, waist on the right. Let's go, right down the middle of the fairway. Just right of those bunkers that you see on the left. Driver. That's it? That's all I get? So when I'm teeing up, where is the best place to tee up? How do you What's go your shot that? shape? Sometimes a little bit of a draw, sometimes a little bit of fade, sometimes I'll hit a straight. What shot are you trying to hit here? I am trying to hit a draw. Okay, so I would set up more on the, the, the left side of the tee box because okay. you want to favor more of the right hand side in this, uh, on this golf hole. Is what shot shape is better for this hole? Well, if you're comfortable with the draw because the wind's off the right, I'd do that and okay. start down the right center and draw back in. Okay. So I get really nervous on the first tee and Why? I'm quite nervous because you're going to be watching every single one of my mm -hmm. shots. And I've always just had the first tee jitters. I don't yeah. know what it is from junior golf to college to even now, if it's a fun thing, I always get nervous on the first tee. I know a lot of people mm -hmm. actually struggle with that. What do you think on the first tee to get you off and, off and running? I go internal. Okay. I literally focus on what I'm doing to produce a draw motion. Not thinking about anything. Just nothing else. Nothing else. Just, just that, <laughs> okay. That's perfect. Way to go. Good shot. On to the next, give me your club. 151 yards, what do you hit 151 yards? Do you know? Um. <laughs> what do you, like how far do you hit? I would say probably a seven is seven a good number. Okay. Yeah. How far does your seven iron usually go? Anywhere between 148 and a 156. <laughs> So I'd go with six because it's into the wind. She's making it really difficult on me. I don't know my numbers like exact. So if I say, what do you hit 143? Or what, what's your number that like you have? What are your numbers? Like so, out. Uh, my 40, uh, or 45 degree goes 160. A 1030 uh, 45 goes 145. A full 50 degree goes 145. A thin 56 degree goes 145. <laughs> yeah, so when you're behind the golf ball, you're just thinking about like your one swing tip and then also like the shot you want to see or yep. like where you're wanting to hit it. Yeah, so I'm, I'm focused on obviously that one input and then where I want to start it and where I want it to end up and how okay. much it's going to draw or cut depending on the wind. That's it. left. That could be okay though. Stay up. Go. That's it. Ooh, uh -huh. a little long. You smoked that. All that speed training I've been I'm doing. Telling you, actually, it might actually be. <laughs> <laughs> what a caddy I have. So after I hit a um, pretty decent shot, still in my hands, and I come over and I, I have to clean I the my own the clubs. The These clubs have been hit a lot. Look at that. There's no wear mark on that. I just bought them. Oh really? What? Yeah. How long ago? Um, it's my first round with them. <laughs> okay, so yeah. after that second shot. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it a little bit. That speed training definitely helped, right? Yeah, I, I just absolutely crushed the golf ball now. What do you look want at, from me? Look what at do you, you want from me? Well, that's our team name. Let's go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you pulled it a little bit, but a little bit. Um, you're in actually a good place to get up and down. It's not a bad bad shot. I was trying to have you go over to the right. 
Yep. Well, that's that. not bad at no. all. I'm trying to go, maybe go to the right because there's like a little funnel area yeah. over there too. So, but it's not in a bad place. Get up and down, no problem. I got it. 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 I got um, it, folks. My 54, and I mean, do we even need my putter after I chip this in? <laughs> I'm bringing your putter. <laughs> Are they quick? No, but it's gonna go right to left once it gets up here. How do you chip off of? I would uh, lean the shaft just a little bit more forward. Okay, because it feels kind of fluffy, but it's hard underneath. It's, it's into the grain, okay. so it's into the grain. So try to hit more of a draw here if you can. Okay. Just like a little, like a little, little draw. Little draw, yeah. Just run it out. That's pretty good. Go, go, go! Good shot. Take it. There you go. All right, this is right edge, right center to right edge. Okay. Right center? Right center to right edge. Whatever you feel comfortable with. That's a colorful shaft. You like it? Yeah. Wait, I'm kind of nervous. So what do you think about on these short putts? You go back <laughs> internal again. You go back to yourself. You, fo you focus on executing the shot. See, that's the thing. So like once I stopped playing like full time, I just picked these up anymore because I didn't like the amount of anxiety <laughs> that would bring me. Well, that's my <laughs> arm lock. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got, we all have our- What do you do with the, is that an arm lock? No. Let's just putt the way you're putting. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Good putt. That's the thing. The less thinking you do over it, the better. Do I get the balls out of the cup? Well, that's your job. Okay. My job is to hold the putter. And, yeah. <laughs> Thank that's you. That's right. Thank you. That is a par on hole number one, and we are off to a great start. I have two more holes to try to make a birdie. Why is there a green mark on the face? A grass mark? <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> Not just happened. <laughs> okay, so... I think that this is a collaboration that no one thought would happen because, to be fair, and I'll own up to it, what, what, what did I you talk say about a lot me? of shit about you in the past. What did you say to me? Um, you know, what did you say about me? I, I, to be fair, I don't think I said anything that was that mean. I just um, just made fun of you sometimes. Yeah, and well, I, sometimes I feel it's deserved. I mean, it. Oh, I, I do it to myself all the time. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the rope incidents Dude, the, the and rope, the fire my, ants. You know, and, oh, I mean, the, the ants, yeah. What, that actually, what, what's, a, what's a girl going to do when someone does something like that? Make fun of me. I get it. Sure. Whatever. Now we're here. Yeah. We're you, besties. And uh, we're going to we're gonna shoot under par. I'm giving you the wrong club this hole. <laughs> 136. I'm thinking like a three wood. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, not really. 136. <laughs> Um, what do you hit 136? No, that's 140 actually. I'll give me the wrong number. 140. Does not make a difference. Okay, I'm we'll probably at. I think an eight iron. Okay. That's what I saw in the last hole. That's an eight. <laughs> this is one of the toughest holes on the golf course. Oh, I love that. That's a good thing. This get it out of the way. It's going to show you that, but also it's going to show you how well uh, you are as a golfer, how good you are. Because you're actually a pretty damn good golfer, if I'm being honest. Like, really? You got a good swing. Were yes. you, are you surprised? Very shocked. Very shocked. Okay. Fire right at the flag. You want to be aggressive on this one. Okay. Uh, stay, 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 stay. Oh, no chunk. All right, that's all right. I got you. Yeah, you're gonna want to land this just short, right up in here. Okay. Bounce it up, run it up. Uh, no, I'd, I'd run this. I'd chip it up through here. Okay. Have it run up. All okay. Right? I feel like it's gonna just dig into the front, though. That's what I'm saying. You gotta have low enough loft. Try to really, like, punch it forward. Do I have to? No. Why is that the why is why do you see that shot over like landing it on the front of the green? You, you can. It's just I would put more loft on it than 54. Okay. What would you hit here? So I would actually hit a 60 off of that lie, and just like loft it up. But I personally would like I would see a, more of a bump and run shot with a 54. Okay. Landed it on. Oh, not even taking the caddy's advice. Good shot. That was actually really impressive. You don't know how good my hands are. <laughs> okay. All right, tap it in. Great shot. Okay, par. another par on a very difficult par three, and we have one more hole to make a birdie. And I, do you even par? How do how do you feel about this caddy? What about making what? a birdie on make, the next oh, hole? Oh yeah, it's we totally have, possible. <laughs> you can hit, reach it in two and make birdie. It is a difficult <laughs> green. There's a lot of fall offs and everything, so we'll see. But I'll steer you in the right direction. Okay. Good job. Some people are just meant to be caddies and some people are just meant to be players. And um, Th no, I'm that's not gonna fair. I'm <laughs> just going to say that I'm a little disappointed with Bryson's caddying. It's it's below par. Isn't that good? Usually below par, under par. It is above par. <laughs> oh, so I'm doing a really good job then. Par five coming up. 
It uh, is, last hole. Last hole. It is reachable. You're actually doing really good. I'm very impressed. Thank you. And it's not surprised. Because you're actually a pretty damn good golfer, if I'm being honest. Are yes. You, are you surprised? Very shocked. It's just more of like you're, you're actually chipping it and putting it really well. I have to because I don't I don't have many fairways or greens, but um. Couldn't tell. Do you like <laughs> Do you like caddying? No. Okay. We got the big stick here. Par five, doggy left. How far is it? Give me a sec. He is just a horrible caddy, isn't he? You know, it's 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 not that great. So I had um, Robbie Berger on the bag when I did a match against uh, Garrett Clark. And I thought he was not great. I don't really know who's better in this scenario. I'll, 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 I'll caddy you. can't get a good caddy around I'll here. I'll caddy you to perfection here. <laughs> I want you to aim right over the right center of this left bunker. Okay. I made a few words. <laughs> that's it. What, what else? I mean, that's a good caddy. Just tell you where to hit it. Go. I used to make things really complex back in the day. Yeah. Not anymore. I try to keep it simple. I'm more of like... I kind of need more of like that Spieth Greller relationship though. I, I you mm. know, I like to talk about things and yeah. my feelings and. Mm. What do you feel on this shot? Um, I actually feel pretty good on this shot. I think I'm gonna do what you said. Just hit the ball. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Smoke. Get in the fairway. Yeah, that's perfect. Good shot. <laughs> okay, everybody. This is the moment. This, this is the moment. She's got to make birdie here. 240 yards. I don't have that in the bag. What would you hit here? So I would, so your wedge game is pretty, pretty dang good. So I'd actually lay it up to the left. Where can you comfortably? Around the green. I would say the closer the better. I feel like yeah. I struggle a little bit more from like How? 110 to about yeah. 60. How far can you hit your three wood? Um, I should like know this, right? Yeah, I should be firing. <laughs> How much does it cut in at all from the left side? So if I take it kind of up that left hill, will it kick over? Take, yes. take it up the left side. It's going to bounce just a little right and down the hill. Okay. Any last words of advice before I hit the most important shot of my uh, life? It is downhill sloping. So just feel like you work with that slope. Okay. So what? So anytime that it's sloped, you want to set your body to the slope? Just a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit. Just favor that way so you get the same radius. Yes. Anyway. Right. That'll be perfect. It's gonna roll up there. It'll be like 15, 20 yards from the yeah, green. Yeah, I hit that one well. Good shot. I uh, need to get up and down to Good accomplish shot. our goal of under par. Let's see what he says. It's not the easiest shot. It's kind of scary, if I'm nah, being honest. You got it. Maybe it's like off a tie lie, uphill. 37 yards. Just a little 37 high. 37 yards. High blooper. Okay. Big. What's a high blooper? So, again, this is running away from you. So, you wanna land it probably three or four yards on and okay. just let it trickle out. Okay. It's going left. To right up there. Go. Oh no. I chunked it. You did chunk it. That's so right. for like a shot like this where there it's, it's kind of sandy underneath and you have to catch it perfectly. What yep. do you do? What you said? I yeah, did try to, to try to sweep it a little bit more. Like that was dug down after so it. So like Okay, so let me show you real quick. Yeah. So for me I'd open it up. Yeah. I tried it just a bit of a higher bloop shot. Up there. Sit down. Get in. Oh, just a little long. That is what we call the bloop bloop. The bloop. What? This is for all the marbles right here. All the marbles. One under par through three holes. Full transparency, what do you think I was going to shoot? I thought it was going to be like one or maybe two over par. For three holes. Whoa. Don't love to hear that. Very shocked. Right to left, straight up the hill. Uh, just a little, a little right to left. For the most part, straight up the hill. Yeah, it's going to be just an edge, just, just outside. Okay, where is the final mark? Edge is just outside, so like maybe one inch, two Love inches. It. Oh, you killed it. That was a good putt, though. Is it safe to say that that was a, a misread by the caddy? No, <laughs> I'm not going to stoop to that. Okay. <laughs> well, that was a good putt, though. We finished at even par for three holes. Thank you so much for caddying for me today. Anytime. Yep. Yeah, You're not welcome. not the best caddy. So I think we should probably mix it up a little bit. What, what do, you, do you What do you think about that? What do you mean? Let's see. I you. think I would be a better caddy for you than you were for me. <laughs> no maybe, way. Maybe that that will be the next video. So tune in for that. Make sure to leave a okay. comment down below. Like today's video. Subscribe to my channel. Go check out Bryson's socials. I will link everything down below, and uh, we'll catch you next Thursday. No. <laughs>